Jason Griffith. I'm an assistant professor of education at Penn State University. And before that, I taught eighth and 10th grade English for 12 years in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And I did a doctorate out at Arizona State in between. My book is called From Me to We, Using Narrative Nonfiction to Broaden Student Perspectives. So this is all about building a creative nonfiction text set. So my, my own viewing and, and reading and uh, listening practices sort of revolve around nonfiction. I love podcasts, I love documentary films, I love memoirs, um, those sorts of things. So I'm always thinking about how can I bring my personal interests in the classroom. So this grew out of when I was still working in 10th grade classroom, um, all the books in our curriculum were old and they were all fiction. I was thinking, how could we bring something both contemporary um, and nonfiction into the curriculum. Um, and at the same time, I was starting to think about how a lot of text sets um, start as articles, long-form articles and magazines, then they get adapted into full-length nonfiction books and then adapted into a full-length film, which, with the help of my wife, who's a graphic designer, turned into this chart, which I call the narrative nonfiction spiral, which is that sort of text set of the article which becomes the book, which becomes the film. And then during each layer, uh, there's ancillary supporting nonfiction. There's reviews of the book, there's reviews of the movie, there's interviews with the author, there's interviews with the real life people, there's making up documentaries for the film. So any one of these for a real world viewer or reader could be sort of a gateway into the text set. We might read a review that leads us to, to read the book or we might watch the movie which um, leads us back. But for, um, for a student, for a teacher, this actually pre presents an instructional sequence uh, starting with the article to generate interest and develop a list of questions with pre-reading, doing sort of a, a traditional um, book study unit with the full-length book and then watching the base on the true story film to see what filmmakers changed and then talking about rhetorically more important why why did they make those changes and it just makes for a really interesting sort of critical literacy unit bringing in all sorts of genres and modalities around the um, the basis of, of creative nonfiction and then the second part of that is sort of after they go through that whole unit with um, the, I provide a whole bunch of books that fit this pattern and then the one that I use um, uh, for instruction with students then is a culminating assessment rather than a test. Um, students played around in the genre by writing their own personal essay. So by sort of applying some of the things that we talk about and um, in the book, um, sort of critically thinking from the reader side and then applying it as writers. So they can sort of try that out rather than just taking a test to see if they know the terms. So I think what sets this part, uh, this book apart from uh, other books about creative nonfiction and memoir and nonfiction in the classroom is sort of that sequence of being very intentional about building a multimodal, multi multi-genre text set around nonfiction and then using it to springboard as sort of a mentor text set, not just a single mentor text, um, but a mentor text set into writing activities and through that whole experience they really get to know the, uh, students really get to know the genre. So what I had in mind, the audience that I had in mind when writing this book was definitely classroom teachers like myself. So it, at conferences like NCTE, we throw around sort of, uh, it's almost a cliche term to say authentic. We do authentic teaching and learning. What does that look like in school spaces versus, versus outside of spaces? But what that term authentic means for me is how do I think and how do I work as a teacher and how can I package that in a book that might be useful to other um, middle school and high school teachers specifically and also pre-service teachers. Um, and then I think a third part of the audience would be um, folks like myself now, um, professors of education that might educate pre-service teachers, but basically putting a tool into uh, pre-service teachers, in-service teachers, uh, practicing teachers into their hands that they can sort of see um, some creative ways to put into, into practice some of the principles that we talk about in theory and, and research. Uh, sort of a practical way to streamline. This book comes from my classroom, so this is how I did the unit. These are activities, the samples come from my students. So so of course that's a that's an n of one right a small sample size of um, just me but because I did it I can share some of the practical challenges the hurdles that I've um, faced so that's what I like about Routledge's I own education series is that it, it focuses on practical strategies so this is the type of thing that I was uh, looking forward to getting out to, to teachers to again give them a tool to um, hopefully provide something that it was easy and fun to read but also um, something that they could apply and even if they're not interested in nonfiction there's some strategies in here that they might be able to to pull some of the activities into existing units um, or you know if they want to try the whole sort of unit structure it's all here.